गुड मॉर्निंग डियर स्टूडेंट्स गुड मॉर्निंग टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू फर्स्ट डिस्कस few stanzas of the poem the ball poem and after that uh, we shall discuss something else okay so let's get started so dear students as you can see right on to your screen uh, we we shall discuss uh, the uh, explanation of the poem the ball poem right so it's a very important poem because uh, it uh, teaches us lot of values okay like yesterday i discussed let me just recapitulate what i discussed yesterday the poem ball poem highlights the hardcore reality of life that everyone has to go through some day or the other right this particular poem discusses the hardcore reality what is the hardcore reality that everyone will undergo some loss or the other in his or her life right and he or she has to come to terms with that loss at certain phase of his life okay if not i mean uh, everyone has to go through some pain some suffering some loss uh, at some phase or the other in his or her life the poem highlights that uh, highlights the fact that this particular loss is something that every human being has to undergo and he has to he or she has to come to terms with that loss as well right the poem focuses on how to come to terms with our grief okay not only is the fact that we shall come across some pain or suffering in at some phase or the other but also the poem highlights at the fact that we need to come to terms with the with the grief because if we do not come to terms with the grief then it will be difficult for us to survive in this world right uh, so and time is the great healer time uh, helps us forget everything with due passage of time right that is why uh, it is very important uh, uh, you know factor time is a healing factor time is considered to be a healing factor and is very important because it helps us to forget whatever uh, loss we undergo at some time or the other in our life so the poem focuses on both these aspects right as well as the poem stresses on the fact of assuming self responsibility how we should take self responsibility and how should should we be accountable for our own positions okay uh, like whatever things we are in position of uh, like uh, supposing that you have a you have an ipod ipad with you or you have a uh, iphone with you so uh, according to the poem you must be having the you must be accountable for uh, for the fact that you own something something you know which is uh, given to you right and every human being has to be accountable okay he must be responsible for the thing that he is possessing or he is having so the poem also stresses on the fact of assuming self responsibility every one of us must assume some sort of responsibility or the other and be and be accountable for that particular uh, responsibility right so these are the three issues that the poem discusses in the course of the uh, in 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 the course of the entire duration of the poem okay so we shall start with the poem today so first is in front of you as you can see right on to your screen stanza 1 okay so before i begin uh, just a quick uh, uh, text response from your aunt just a quick text text response dear students are you able to hear me properly am i audible to you loud and clear please do confirm me with the text so that i start my explanation of the poem right away i have given you introduction of the poem what is the poem going to be all about and now uh, i am going to start uh, straight away the explanation on the stanza 1 so please let me know whether i am a, i am audible to you loud and clear okay thank you uh, thank you thank you all of you very good okay so uh, so let's begin so let's begin yes thank you so much okay so um, what is the point now you focus on the left side of your screen stanza 1 okay what is the point now who has lost his ball what what he what is he to do i saw it go merrily bouncing down the street and then merrily over there it is in the water no use to say oh there are other balls okay so it seems that there is a boy in the poem 
because stanza one tells us so there is a boy in the uh, poem and he has lost his ball he was playing uh, playing somewhere with his ball but in the process of playing he has somehow uh, lost control of his ball and the ball went somewhere somewhere else and this is how the boy, boy parted from the ball right so what do you understand from these few lines what is the boy who has lost his ball what what is it to do i saw it go merrily bouncing down the street the ball uh, the ball has gone merrily bouncing down the street and then merrily over there it is in the water no use to say oh there are other balls there is no use to say the writer says that as soon as the ball parted from the boy the boy started regretting it is very obvious because it's a small boy he is a small boy so it's very obvious that the boy will start shedding tears or the boy will start crying the boy will start grieving over the the loss of his ball so the the poet does not interfere in the business of the boy even though he is he was just an un, onlooker he was just looking from uh, some distance he was an onlooker in spite of being an onlooker he did not interfere in the matters of the boy why because the poet thinks that the poet thinks that uh, it, it, it's it's no use telling him that there are other balls it's no use telling him that there are other balls okay now let's uh, go through the explanation part the boy has emotional attachment for the ball therefore he grieves over the loss of his ball right um, but unfortunately or fortunately we will we'll discover that later on uh, the poet does not interfere in the matters of the ball uh, boy the poet does not go to uh, uh, does not go to the place where the ball has gone the poet does not make any kind of effort to uh, return the ball back to the boy right why we shall come to know about this later on the ball skipped from from boy's hand and went into the street and fell into a water body okay what happened the ball skipped from the boy's hand and went into the street and fell into a water body the ball has gone into a water body okay so we come to know about this uh, uh, from the poem because it is written here you can see then merrily over there it is in the water means the ball has gone gone into a water body and but the poet does not interfere the poet does not go to pick up the ball for the boy and return the ball back to him no merrily means it is a poetic way of saying happily the ball has been personified in the poem so when the poet says merrily bouncing down the street when the poet says the ball is merrily bouncing down the street here the poet has made use of a figure of speech or literary term which is for personification right it is the use of personification merrily bouncing down the street okay because the merrily is the word which is used for human beings okay but here in the, in the context of the ball it is used for the ball which is non human or which is uh, not having any uh, life it's an object so if any word which is attached to human beings is used for non uh, non human then it is called personification therefore merrily is the word which is uh, which is called personification right and then vocabulary you see merrily is personification bouncing means jumping up and down so hopefully you have understood uh, uh, stanza 1 right so dear students back to you now uh, do you have any doubt from stanza 1 you can ask me uh, you, you can text me the question if you have any any sort of doubt from stanza 1 before we proceed to stanza 2 if you have any doubt from stanza 1 kindly let me know so that i can explain it to you and then proceed towards stanza 2 so let me know if you have any uh, sort of doubt about stanza 1 right so that uh, i can um, explain you and then go back to stanza 2 okay okay so let me continue to stanza to now so you see here an ultimate shaking grief fixes the boy as a result of losing the ball 
the boy becomes so overpowered with emotion why because the 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 boy has lost the ball which was very close to his heart okay so it it is it so happens that a small boy or a girl um you know is very much emotional uh, with the object that he or she possesses right so the boy was uh, naturally very much emotional towards uh, the ball therefore as the ball became parted from him he became absolutely you know uh, sad uh, so that is why a strong emotion strong feeling of regret a strong feeling of uh, uh, you know feeling of uh, feeling of loss has taken over over the mind of the boy therefore uh, that poet says that an ultimate shaking grief fixes the boy as he stands rigid rigid means he was not able to understand he was not moving he was just standing rigid trembling he was trembling because uh, because because it is something which he never expected that he would part from the ball or he would lose his ball staring down all his young days into the harbor where his ball went okay so this is also a kind of a literary expression staring down all his young days means he was staring down to the water body where his ball has gone right uh where his ball went i would not intrude on him a dime another ball is worth it this line is very important i would not intrude on him intrude means interfere okay the poet says that i will not intrude on him uh, and uh, a dime means money here okay sand 10 cents equivalent to one dime so uh, us uh, cents you know so he says that dime is a metaphor for money so uh, dime is a metaphor for money so the poet says that um, any kind of money or another ball if i substitute is worthless for the boy why it is worth this is something i told you we shall discuss later on right uh, let's find out okay uh, gradually step by step we'll find out as to why the poet does not interfere in the business of the boy why the poet thinks that uh, it is useless to provide uh, some money to the boy or replace the lost ball with a new ball it's absolutely worthless this is what the poet thinks why does the poet think so is something that is that is uh, very very important for us to know because this is where the uh, value lies this is where the message of the poem lies right so this is what we shall have to discuss in detail but before that let's discuss the literary meaning of the poem okay literary meaning of this stanza right so shaking grief i already explained to you shaking grief means sadness that uh, troubles the boy then trembling because he was not expecting that he would part from the ball harbor is the water body where the ball has gone i would not intrude intrude is something what is called interfere right dime as i told you it's a it's a, it, it's equivalent to 10 cent us uh, 10 cent okay so now let's go through the explanation part the boy is in a state of sadness due to sudden loss of his ball why do you think is the boy in a state of sadness because he has parted from the ball which he used to hold very close to his heart right the ball skipped from his hand and landed itself into a harbor the ball skipped from his hand right and ended up landing into a harbor the poet the poet was just an onlooker actually he was just observing the entire matter right he does not speak to console the boy he does not interfere in the matters of the boy he does not come forward to console the boy when he started crying the boy the poet did not console the boy uh, why do you think the poet does not console the boy there is a purpose there is a logic there is a reason as to why the poet does not come forward to sort of console the boy there is a reason the poet wants the boy to shoulder responsibility from his early childhood that is the message for the students as i told you we shall gradually unfold this is what this is what is the reason as to why the poet does not want to console the boy or the poet does not want to go forward and interfere in the matters of the boy to console the boy to come for the boy why because the poet wants the boy to uh, to come to terms uh, with the loss which is one of the very important themes of this poem so the poet wants the boy to come to terms with the with his loss 
what is the loss here the boy used to hold the ball so very much close to his heart but now that the ball has become parted from him he is overpowered with a strong emotion of regret emotion of uh, you know loss therefore the poet wants him to continue regretting or continue sobbing or continue grieving because in the process of continued grieving continued grief what will happen the boy would learn a very important lesson of life what is that important lesson of life the important lesson of life in his childhood is we should learn to shoulder responsibility from our early childhood right we should learn to shoulder responsibility that is very very important now you are students of you are students of class 10 you must have taken some sort of responsibility uh, on your shoulders right you must have uh, you must be uh, in charge of washing your clothes or you must be in charge of uh, you know polishing your shoes uh, you must be in charge of uh, ironing your clothes so these are some of the responsibilities that as a student you are supposed to do besides the responsibility of academic matters academic matters of course you are very much responsible for okay if you got a good percentage you are responsible for that if you get a poor percentage you are equally responsible for it right so besides being responsible in the, in academic matters you have another responsibility uh, which is uh, assuming responsibility in family matters or in uh, your maintenance matter okay like you should uh, uh, look neat and clean you should look uh, you know well dressed you should look healthy so if you are responsible if you if you are very much responsible in in taking care of yourself and your matters then in addition to your academic matters you should also be assuming responsibility in 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 a sort of maintaining yourself like in the I, as i told you like polishing your shoes time to time ironing your clothes time to time then you should also wash your clothes sometimes right these are some of the small uh, responsibilities that you should take uh, at this phase of your life besides assuming responsibility in studies okay only studies and studies and not learning any uh, any sort of skill at home uh, will not land you anywhere right because in today's world uh, your parents may not be with you after some days okay you might be left alone at home in that case what will you do if you are not uh, able to take after or look after yourself uh, and do some of the works that you are supposed to do at this age therefore it's very important that we should also learn how to cook sometimes okay we should also learn how to prepare food sometimes because it it might so happen in future that you have to live alone and one day a cook is not available with you in that case uh will you go to bed uh, without having to eat anything no you cannot therefore this is the and lockdown has given you the golden opportunity to spend spare uh, a sizable uh, quant quantity of time with your mom and dad okay you learn whatever skill your mom and dad has you you can learn from them okay from your mom you can learn the culinary responsibilities the culinary art you can say the art of cooking art of making food from your father you learn uh, something what you think you should learn at this age so lockdown is the golden opportunity uh, to to hone your skill and end up learning new skills right so that so that you you can cope up with the outside world right only studying will not help you nowadays okay you have to you do something else along with studies you have to learn many many new skills okay along with studies to be able to sustain in this competitive world okay so please start assuming responsibility do small little things at home okay you don't require to do a big thing do small small things because small changes make a lot of difference okay in life do little, small small tidy your room clean up your room uh make your bed okay keep it clean uh then uh, as i told you uh, 
wash your clothes, uh, iron your clothes, or you can say uh, you can also do a, a little bit of gardening also. Uh, you can contribute to the growth of uh, plantation also in and around you. So there are so many works that uh, a child uh, can do. So pick up some of those works and do them regularly. Do these works regularly and assume more and more responsibility, right? So this is what the poet wants the boy to learn, to, to be responsible for the loss that he has incurred now. Okay, to be responsible for the um, for the fact that he has lost his ball. So as the boy grieves over the loss of his ball, the boy in the process will come to terms with the loss. So that is the phase, that is the process what the boy has to undergo. That is why the poet does not interfere. Because if the poet interferes in the matter of the boy, in that case, the boy will not understand what it means to lose something which is very... Uh, close to your heart, right? Everyone has to go through that phase of phase of uh, loss and that strong emotion followed by a strong emotion of having, uh, of having lost something. So this particular phase, every human being has to go through in his or her life. That is why the poet does not interfere and comfort the boy. Understood? So that is all about stanza two. Right. And uh, before that, uh, another thing like, why do you think the poet does not give him any money either? The poet does not offer him any money either uh, to buy another ball because that would be worthless. In the process of buying another ball, the, po uh, the boy will forget his old ball and will not learn anything out of losing this ball. So he wanted to uh, wanted the boy to learn something, what it means to lose something. That is why the boy, did, uh, the poet did not comfort the boy. Neither did he comfort the boy, nor did he uh, pay him any money so that uh, he can buy another boy. So that was the reason as to why the poet wanted the uh, wanted the boy to uh, come to terms with the loss. Number one, number two. The poet wanted the boy to learn the fact that uh, we should be responsible for the thing that we hold very dear to our heart. And number three is the poet wanted the boy to go through this phase of regretfulness so that next time onwards he becomes more responsible and takes greater care of his possessions. Right? So that's all about stanza two. If you have any doubt, you can ask me any question. Okay, so stanza 2, do you have any doubt regarding any of the phrases or any of the words that you think you need uh, further explanation from my end? In that case, I'll certainly explain you once more. Okay, so you can uh, please uh, text me quickly. Okay, Anusri, Asmita, Akanksha, thank you, Tanvi, Parimal, Pranati, Sruti, okay, very good. Okay, so, uh, dear students, uh, uh, we shall complete this poem in two days, that is, tomorrow morning I shall complete this poem, uh, not together, the entire poem, otherwise you will not understand, okay? So, this is where we stop here today, but before we wind up our lesson, uh, let us do the same uh, procedure that is uh, that is uh, registering attendance okay so i am sending you the attendance link now you please fill up the attendance and in case you have any doubt let me know so that i can help you out okay i have given you the permission for editing the text quickly you edit it and then i shall withdraw the permission within 5 minutes within 5 minutes you fill up the attendance okay Okay, your time starts now. I'm sending now. Here it is. Please start filling up the attendance.
ओके 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 ठीक है नो मैटर आई एम जस्ट गिविंग यू एक्सेस टू दैट I already gave you access, but let me try once again. Anyone on the internet with this line can view. Okay, editing option I have to give you. Just a minute, brother. Yeah, now you try. ओके आकांक्षा आयशल ओके आकांक्षा रिद्धि आयुषी आकांक्षा रिद्धि वैष्णवी आई विल आई विल मार्क यू प्रेजेंट डोंट वरी डोंट वरी ओके देर वाज सम प्रॉब्लम विद द सॉफ्टवेयर स्टार्ट सो एवरीथिंग इज गॉट डिलीटेड एक्चुअली सो आई हैव टू करेक्ट इट आई हैव द थिंग विद मी प्रिंट आउट सॉरी स्क्रीनशॉट विद मी सो आई विल करेक्ट इट डोंट वरी okay uh, let me try once again let me try once again anyone with the anyone on the internet this link can edit it okay uh copy link done dear yes, students try with this link again uh, please try with this link once again
Asmida, uh, let me know quickly whether it is editable now. Please let me know quickly, okay? Okay, so uh, do one thing. Uh, if it's not working, uh, I have already given you access and permission. But even after that, if it's not coming, uh, you do one thing. You Manthan Anudipa. Uh, let me do one thing. Uh, okay. So you do one thing. Okay, no matter. You tell me, Anudipa is present today, right? Okay, okay. So, Anushka is present today, Anushka? I think Anushka is absent today. Anushri is present today. Yeah, that's good. Uh, Anushri, uh, you can do this. That's better. Uh, Anushri, uh, you can comment uh, uh, comment me. Like, uh, you can write some comment, uh, I am present. Okay. You just write your name and say, write present. Yes, very good. Anushri. Then Ashwini is absent, I think. Krishna is present. Manaja is present. Nandini, are you there? Okay, very good, very good. Thank you, Nandini. I'm marking you present. Then Neha. Neha is present or absent? Neha. Ayushi is present. Krishna, I have already Nandini. Nandini is present. I have given. Yes, very good. Uh, Krishna, you are present yesterday also, right? Very good. Okay, Jui is present. Very nice. Pranati, Pranati. Uh, first section A you write, okay, Sumiti is uh, section A or what? Uh, Sumiti, yes, Sumit, I am marking you present. Uh, 
okay then parimal parimal yesterday also today also right okay parimal present present okay who else bete uh, pranati i am not getting you uh, actually in section a you might be in section b uh, janhabi janhabi is present riddhi riddhi is next section i think nay riddhi is present okay after uh, yesterday also riddhi was present okay janvi you are present yesterday also janvi janvi was present yesterday also very good okay next soumya 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 is present okay uh, then brishti brishti is also present okay anybody else from section a left out please let me know uh, palak is also there right okay palak you are present very good okay next anybody shivam okay shivam shivam is where is shivam shivam where are you which section you are from section b it seems right okay uh, ashwini ashwini yes i have written ashwini i have written okay uh, okay so now i am going to section b i am going to section b shivam uh, shivam is present yes next section b you please tell now who else is present now section b and rest of you can log out those whose attendance is over can log out and attend the next class okay thank you so much for attending our uh, 10 b if you are left out please let me know shibam i have already marked attendance who else is left out 10 b uh tan b tan b tan b yes very good bete okay tan b i have given you riya patraja riya uh riya i have given you riya present then atharv atharv present yes after atharv manthan manthan is also present okay nice after manthan saurav saurav is present okay after saurav shruti aglave shruti yes okay after shruti akanksha and then harshal akanksha and harshal right okay akanksha and harshal yes very good bete uh, if if you are if you are getting delayed for the next class na you can uh, write in the comment uh, comment you write your name and you can leave now okay your teacher might be waiting for you and uh, those uh, who are uh, left out just quickly write your name i'll keep doing it okay i'll keep doing it uh, you just write your name and then leave for the next class bete ha uh, uh, shruti aglave akanksha harshal is over sambhavi sambhavi yes sambhavi i have made you present after sambhavi manajay i have made already manthan to uh, manthan uh, yesterday also you were present so manthan in both the classes you were present shruti aglave uh, yesterday also you were present you said right very good okay okay uh then after shruti shivam present okay i have already marked uh, shivam akanksha 
uh, yesterday also you were present you said yes both the classes you are present then sumit uh, okay so dear students i hope uh, all of you have given your presence right okay so i think there is no one left okay thank you thank you so much you have been already marked present those who have responded okay already i have marked your presence okay thank you dear students bye bye take care okay pari pari is left just a minute yes pari i have marked you present sambhavi yesterday anushree thank okay uh, sambhavi yesterday okay sambhavi uh, yesterday na theek hai okay i have already marked present for all of you thank you so much dear students bye bye take care